Every month, Microsoft Teams comes out with new features that most of us are not aware of. In this video, I would demo top 10 new features of Microsoft Teams that would help you improve your daily Teams experience. Hey guys, my name is Deepak and if you want to learn more about latest in productivity and collaboration space, please consider subscribing to my channel. So let's get started. First new Teams feature on my list is external access without switching tenant. Finally, with the external access feature, you can add or invite anyone outside of your Teams org who uses Teams or Teams for personal use to a one-to-one -one chat or group chats. Quite easy. Just search for the user in Teams search bar using his email or mobile I'll use mobile number and then click search externally. Teams will find the contact and you can click on the contact to start a conversation. The best thing is you no longer need to switch the tenant. This feature is by default on in the Teams admin center but can be disabled if you wish. Next feature is time zone availability inside a user profile. Again, a much needed feature, especially in remote in work environment where your colleagues are working in different time zones. So if I click on Tony Star contact card, it gives me the user's current time, which is three hours ahead of me. I can also click copy to copy the time zone information and paste it on another chat. So now you can make better decision of when to send someone a Teams message. You can now pin any message inside your Teams chat. So this will kind of help you with track any important items or make notes. If you are in one-to-one -one chat, you can click on three dots on the message you want to pin and then choose pin. It would now display that message on the top of the chat. For channels, you can click on the eye icon to show channel info and then you will see your pinned post. So quite handy to keep check on pending or important items. Next is chat density feature. With this feature, you get two modes, comfy mode, which I believe is normal chat view, and compact mode, which shows you more chats by making them more compact. To enable compact mode, click three dots beside your profile picture, go to settings, journal tab, choose compact mode. So without compact mode, it will look like this. And with compact mode, it will look like this. You can now do word cloud poll inside your meetings. I love word cloud when it comes to breaking ice with a large audience. And now Microsoft Forms also support word cloud polls inside Teams meetings. So inside a Teams meetings, go to plus add an app, select forms from the list and save it. Click create new and type your word cloud poll. Then choose save as a draft. You can now click arrow icon besides launch to gain edit or delete. If everything is good, then just click launch. You would see amazing word cloud populating results in real time. And all the meeting participants would be able to see it inside their meeting window. You can now mute all notifications during meetings to bring more focus to your meetings. To turn off notifications during all meetings, go to settings, notifications, meetings and calls and toggle the mute notifications during meeting button. To turn off notifications during a specific meeting, click on the three dot ellipses inside a meeting and choose mute or allow notifications. Good news is Teams one-to-one -one VoIP and PST and call recording features is now available. So if Teams admin has enabled the cloud call recordings on the back end, you would now be able to record one-to-one -one calls. Yes. While in a call, go to three dots and settings, then choose start recording. Once done, stop the recording and it would be available to you inside your one-to-one -one chat or you can go to call history and it will show small white play icon. You can click on it to open it in a side window and then play the recording. Next in my list is mirror my video. By default, Teams shows you a mirrored video as if you're looking into a mirror. 
Imagine you have a virtual background and that has a text in it, or you are a teacher writing on a whiteboard. In both instances, you will see the text flip in your view. However, other people in the meeting will see the text displayed correctly. So turning off mirror my video will let you see the image as other participants are seeing. Once you have joined a meeting, go to the three dots at the top of the window, then select device settings, scroll down to the mirror my video and you can turn it off or on. Next feature is shortcut to unmute. Sometimes you really want that mute button quickly and you can now use control space on Windows or option space on Mac to quickly mute your audio inside your meeting. So no need to look for a mute button on your headset. Just quickly do this shortcut and you will be saved. Last one for today is you can now pin or hide your own video inside Teams meetings. So click on three dots icon beside your video and you can either pin or hide your video easily depending upon whether you want to see yourself view or not. Thank you for watching my video. Please do share, like or comment or give me your feedback. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.